All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be watching a Silver 5 Moira. Now this one is something that we talk about in general here with um, some of the games we watch. This one, I'll just read off, just to summarize this uh, for you. We have a tank who's blaming their supports, but I'll read some of it here. Here we go. I was playing with my friend, the other support, just having a fun time trying to get out of bronze. When sadly, we had the misfortune of loading into this game, it was going pretty well at first, nothing out of the ordinary, pushing the payload and all that, until the start of the second round. Our tank started blaming heals, spamming thanks after every death, and getting visibly more tilted each time. I was flabbergasted at the behavior because I had the most healing in the game and was trying my best. My friend on off heal not far behind, as well as getting reses on everything. And we'll kind of just go from there, all right? So here's the question. Is the tank not getting healed? Are the supports not healing? Or is the tank playing aggressive and feeding? Could be both. Could be not being healed and feeding. Both can happen. Let's find out. We'll see. We'll see. Also, on Havana, always check for if they're playing close or not, like right away. Otherwise, they can get early a limbs. Obviously, they didn't get an early a limb, but it's good to check for that. It's like a good habit to have. Um, are you, are you, all right, that was certainly the start, I'll tell you that much. Uh, this is Silver 5. All right, keep in mind your Mercy's right there on the Widow, you don't have to try to heal the, um, you don't really have to try to heal your Widow as much right there, all right? You definitely can't heal him right there, uh-oh. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to pause for one second here, okay? So I, I want to start this off, and I, I want you to kind of see this point of view a little bit of what you just... So at no point, and, and keep in mind, your tank was fine as of right now, right? But at no point did you look at your tank. After, like, you went to your back line to try to help with that res, and at no point did you turn around to see if your tank needed any heals at all. Now keep in mind, Reinhardt for Sigma can be a tough matchup sometimes because Reinhardt can be aggressive. But so far, you're not even paying attention to your tank. Granted, this isn't like your tank was fine, but I always talk about scanning the area. Make sure everybody's good, not just like looking at your back line completely. So far, your tank's fine. I'm just saying, like, if that happens the whole game, then we'll see. Here we go. Big slam! First of all, I I, I just I just need to know what's the, what's happening right now at the beginning of this game. I I haven't quite figured out because like there's a there's a there's a Hanzo who's getting a bunch of headshots, a Somber who goes into the back line but doesn't really get much done during that time. Your tank is stuck at the cart because the Reinhardt just standing there with their shield. You spent the majority of the game turning around and trying to help him. You're trying to spy check somebody out of stealth as Moira. And then the carts move 30 meters in two minutes. In two minutes. Oh, here we go. All right, that's what I'm talking about right there. I need, I need to pause for a second here. You have the Sigma on your team. The Sigma's on your team. Why are you trying to heal the Sigma on the other team? <laughs> like, I, I want to point out that you're, 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 you're trying to heal? Hello, it's been the over ride. a week since I've been able to be here. Oh, you were healing on the floor? Okay, okay. Why was there a Lucio in the back line? I don't, you know, I, I, at, at this point, you know what, at this point, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna see what happens. You should get the point. I don't. Okay, everything's fine. Oh, no, Reinhardt's going to the point now. There goes that Rein. They have a Zen now, so Q-Mine is gonna be a little bit more increased damage. 
So someone goes, what rank is this? And somebody responds with Sigma. Oh, what tank? Oh, you're right. They did say tank. I misread that. I'm sorry. Also, you just got rolled. I respect it. Honestly, I respect it. I would do the same thing. You know what? I'm not, you know what? I would have done the same thing. I respect that. Yeah, I respect it. I would have done the same thing. Why not? Listen, I want to know why? You said, oh, you said TikTok more? Oh, yeah. Absolutely flats. Hello there. Oh, yeah. No, so to give you an idea right there, and this is coming from, I play a lot of tank. I, I solo well to Zen. Have you ever tried a 1v1 of Zenyatta? They're tankier than a tank. Tankier than a tank at that point. Okay, this is what so what's happening so far in this game is you you are you're doing a good job of worrying about your back line but not worrying about your front line. So what happens is exactly what we just watched happen. One, there's a Zenyatta rolling you, and two, you're, you, what you're doing is you're leaving your tank at low enough HP where they can't make a play sometimes, but they have enough HP where they really can still be fine, and they run into this issue where like they can't be too aggressive, but they can't play passive. But then if they play aggressive, they get rolled. But if they play passive, then the team will be mad they're not playing aggressive. That's kind of tanking right now in general, though. You know what I mean? Understood. What? What? Did, wh why did that Zen just halt? What am I? What am I missing here? I don't. Zen took one damage and was like, "Oh no, I gotta say it all." And they went back to the same spot and got rolled by a bastion. I don't. <laughs> That's even life. Welcome. I hope you enjoy. All right. So, so let's see if you win this, which you should. This first round here. Okay. So we'll talk about this first round so far. Here. He, so you mind chat? We're watching this vod because the the tank said that they weren't getting healed and they were blaming their 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 supports. So far, your team won that just fine. But I will say, at times, you weren't paying attention to your team at all. Straight up, you just weren't. Uh, to, your, to your tank, that is. Now, it worked on attack. But if you play the same way, I can see that tank falling over on defense. So I do want to see how this goes. Obviously, it's a longer game, so it's clearly something's going to happen in this game. But, like, you, you hard-focused on your back line and didn't... What in the world is the... Okay, so I already see a, a bit of an issue happening here. Okay, so now listen to me. Well, if you're going to hold close, it is recommended that you hold close as a team. Now, either two things happen here as a Sigma player. You go in and you go, hey, let's hold close. And if you turn around and nobody's there, you go, okay, never mind. We're not going to hold close. If the tank gets mad here, this is one of those situations where you have four people behind you holding all the way back. So if this Sigma falls over, this ain't going to be on you. That's on the Sigma. That's on what in... That one's on the Sigma. If they're asking for heals there, that, that was that was on them. All right. Well, this is, this is a good start. Yeah, I can see them now. Why did you heal me? What are you doing? Come on. I'm watching now. You can, Okay, keeping your Sigma alive. Watch it behind you. Oh, yep, there goes your Widow. Yep, your Bastion's tanking. Yeah. Chat, I want to point out, look at the Sigma's positioning right now and, and look what's happening. Okay, so... This is another moment I want to showcase what's happening. Your Sigma pushed up. You worried about your backline. You spend so much time worrying about your backline that your Sigma pushes up and gets low. 
Sigma survives that, but you had to spend so many resources and jump into the middle of the team that that play is not going to work every single time, which is why I keep mentioning the idea of scan the area, check where your teammates are going. You don't have to fully peel for your backline the whole time, especially as Moira. You're looking up at the Echo. I'm telling you, this play style, like... All right, like like that is okay. This is a situation where your mercy is flying around in the middle of the open, and you said you're doing with the mercy, right? The mercy is flying around in the middle of the open with you, okay? Instead of being with the widow to help pocket the widow or, or pocket the bastion, etc., they're staying in the middle of the open. The echo goes into the back line, gets in a limb. You now are worried about keeping your mercy alive, and then you both get rolled because you're both kind of out of position at that point, right? You're kind of in the middle of the open, so like. That, that, you know, your tank not getting healed, that's fine. But they went Arissa now, so okay. So they're on Arissa now. Yep. Alright. This is fine. That's fine. Keep in mind, this is also you being more with your front line than it is you peeling on your back line. Alright. Nobody dies that, right? Okay. I would. That was certainly a diva ult that we just watched. Kill your Arissa. But see, like, right there, keep in mind, that was, once again, you were hard focused on other stuff, and your Arissa sat at low HP. You know, for me, the other team will switch to Bastion and randomly throw, a, like, a Bastion grenade in there, and I get rolled. But this is what I mean about you playing more aggressively team. Listen, I, okay. No one's going to be on your Mercy right there with the low HP. Your Mercy has the support passive. You don't have to worry about going to heal your Mercy at that point. Unless there's somebody behind you. You see how you're hard focused on a couple of things that you don't need to really worry about at that point? You see what's happening? Like, you have the support passive. Your Mercy will heal up there. If someone flanks your Mercy and, and they get rolled, that's, it's going to be more about position at that point. Uh, Amborg has 100 bits and heck yeah, I'm glad to hit that. Your wrist is out of position now, but it's working. Also, you kind of throw random healing orbs sometimes that just bounce off of walls and go nowhere. It's okay to use a little bit more of your damage orb too. Um, your damage orb will give you your resources. As I say that, there you go. Is your tank running up the top right stairs again? You mind, you're not looking at that though. You're focused on this soldier? I, I can already see what's gonna happen. It, it, it happened. All right. First of all, first of all, if your if your tank gets mad at this right here, I want to point out point this out again. Now we're back to here. If your tank gets mad at you for not healing right here, then at this point I'm gonna be real with you. That's just that's just not that is just bad positioning. Straight up, that is just bad positioning right there. <laughs> this is interesting. This is interesting. Say, so here, here's where we're at. Your Arissa plays aggressive. You worry too much about your back line. So you have a situation here where you have two players playing about as complete opposite of a play style as you could. Straight up. Playing completely different play styles right now. This is completely different play style from what I'm on what I'm seeing right now. You play you play way too passive, and your tank plays way too aggressive. That's what's happening right now. And this is where, like, I always talk to chat about how I'll try to make, like, a mid-game adjustment to how my teammates are playing. If my teammates are playing too aggressive and we're not winning team fights, right, I will start playing a more aggressive play style. Because, in my opinion, if you can get everybody to play together as a team and play aggressive together, rather than have one person playing passive and one person playing aggressive, it will be better than just playing your own different play styles the whole time. Granted, that can be rank dependent, obviously, in, like, in silver, that, that may not work as well in comparison to, like, let's say, the top 500 games. But that's the adaption I will make if I recognize that my... Like, for example, I always talk about this. And uh, by the way, your Mercy's in their spawn. And now you're running to their spawn to heal the Mercy. Anyway, um, I, I... Like, for example, I will be in a game. Say I get two limbs on D.Va every single time, but my, te my we lose every team fight. I don't look at that and go, oh, I'm getting two limbs. What's going on? I look at that as, okay, I need to peel for my teammates. If we survive that peel, we're going to win this. 
And those are the adjustments I'll make. I mean, this is a deathmatch, this one. I, like, you haven't even looked to heal your tank. And keep in mind, your tank is full HP, but you're not even looking. You're, you're, you were concentrated on this 1v1. That is a res. That worked. I, I am surprised. Huge! What is going on? I, I don't even know what's happening at this point. Okay, that's on your Winston. That's on your Winston. You were forced to use your ultimate there because Winston was getting low. How do you lose this? How do you lose this team fight, Reaper all, I bet? It's gonna be Reaper all. Yeah, you're not even looking at your team. Oh, it was only two? They can res the Reaper, though? I'm so confused. You dres by your mercy? Huh. What is happening? How is this team fight still going on? What? What? <laughs> you just got rezzed again. This is like the second time you've been rezzed during this team fight. I, I I don't even know where to start with that whole team fight because I don't even know if there's like anything I can. Like I can't look at that team fight and go, well, this is what should have been done there because I don't even know what was happening. Okay, so after that really long second team fight that lasted forever, we are now back to third point now. You have an Orisa. Okay, I want you to focus on your tank right now. At this point in the map, you should not have to worry about your back line. I want you to worry about what's in front of you. Okay, you're Orisa. Right now, I want you to worry about what's in front of you. Just keep worrying about that. All right, that is, you know what? That is a... Well, I mean, you got to see what was in front of you, and that was your team getting rolled by a Reaper. Well, at least you got to see that, right? Imagine if you were turned around trying to peel for somebody in the back line. Wouldn't be able to see that masterpiece of a Reaper. Ult. See? Those are the things you miss out on if you're not looking forward on the, on the team. So. You said no orb for Orisa? I mean, at that point, like, if they're just like. Reset. Big slam! Okay, so just to, just to make this clear. You heard a Soldier 76 ult, and then you faded into the left side in front of where the Soldier 76 could see you. So these are just like a lot of the decisions that you want to try to like get better at, because what happened there was is you still had that team fight in a reasonable spot. And instead, you just went across to the other side in front of an ultimate and got rolled. And those are the things where like, try to, try to do your best to just focus on not, it's funny because I feel like in one spectating video, I'll be telling people to peel for their backline more. And now we're like in the opposite sense of things now where like you're peeling too hard for your backline and you need to kind of let like, let your mercy keep up the soldier, let your mercy pocket the soldier in the bastion, focus on what's in front of you, which will probably be the bastion and the Orisa. Let that kind of happen and then readjust later on if you have to, but you're over worrying about that happening over there. You're like, oh no, someone just took one damage from our team. I need to turn around now and make a play. And like that is what you're not, you need to focus a little bit more on what's in front of you and then make the decision to peel backwards after. You've made the decision you're going to peel back no matter what and that's what's going to happen. Can we see how the soldier fell to the map? I don't think they did. I think they right clicked. Like they helix rocketed. So like, do you see like, do you see how, I, okay, I need to point this out. I, do you see how like exact opposite of how you want to play this is happening? Your mercy is pocketing the Orisa, okay? And then you're pocketing the Soldier 76. Like do, you, like, do you see this, okay? It's supposed to be the other way around on that one, all right? Mercy can pocket the the, the Soldier 76 just fine. And, 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 and a lot of, like, games, you will see the Mercy pocket the DPS because you can keep the heals up, you can damage boost when they're, when they're at full HP. And then you, as the 
what would be considered like the main support here, you'll be able to heal the tanks, heal the Bastion, and keep them alive. But right now, your Mercy is what's pocket in the Orisa, and you're trying to heal her soldier. That's not going to work out that well. Granted, the soldier was standing still in that doorway, and it probably wouldn't have mattered. But you see what I mean? Like, you're playing it the exact opposite way that you want to play. And you keep ending up further and further back. So now, now, your team can't help you. You can't help your team. So, a, a big issue that's happening here now. And, and, and going back to the initial discussion of, like, the tank was complaining that the supports weren't healing them, etc. I'm going to be honest with you. I think the tank has been out of position a lot of the time. And, and, and you do heal your tank. But one problem that's happened is you're, 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 you and your other support are falling over so much. Because you're just kind of worried about parts of the map you don't have to worry about as much. Also, going randomly AFK at this point is not as ideal. Because you need to run back to the point. So, like, look at what's happening. Same thing keeps happening. Yep, and I agree. I agree that the tank is out of position. So it's the classic tank plays way too aggressive and then gets mad that the supports aren't healed. But the way you're playing right now, even if your tank wasn't playing over aggressive, like right there, look what you're worried about. Everything else but what's happening in front of you. Good res by your mercy. Okay, is it me or... I, I, okay, that whole sequence of events was hilarious to me, and I'm going to explain why. Every time you went to one side, the Orisa went to the other side. Every time you went to the other side, your Mercy went to the other side, and then the Orisa would go back and forth. You were ping-ponging across the map. So you could never heal, but that's why you just need to stick with your tank at that point. Yeah, this is also a game where, like, the tank and the support here have had, like, you're, you're right, zero synergy. Way too aggressive on tank, way too passive on support. You go left... The tank goes right. Like, it, it, there's, there's a lot happening here. But I don't I don't think it necessarily, like, them, uh, the tank going, oh, this is all my supports. Like, this is why we're losing. I don't think that's the case. But you, as supports, you are falling over quite a bit. I'm telling you right now, I think if your Mercy was just kind of with the Soldier or the Bastion way more often right now, this would go a lot better for your team. Also, chat, you notice what I see in the background there? I'm just going to do this very quickly. They were AFK. So that team fight doesn't count either because they were AFK. Teams run to the point one by one in overtime, which, uh, just to reiterate, in overtime spawns, they can be really long. So don't do that. We have what we call an alt domino right here. That's a big slam. So this is, this is what I guess is happening now. My guess is that the Orisa has now, has, 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 and this is, this is what I mean, like, first of all, I want to point out here, I want, I want to point out here, the, the Orisa has played way too aggressive. It, it, their, their, their complaint was that, like, the reason why they're getting rolled is because of their supports. I'm going to be real with you, not quite the case. I think the Orisa plays too aggressive. I think the support play, you can improve in areas that don't have to do with your tank getting rolled by running into their spawn. You get what I'm saying? Like, what's cool, what's, what's interesting about this fought is, it was explained as the tank is blaming the supports, but it's not necessarily on the supports because the tank is playing way too aggressive. But at the same time, there's a lot that you can improve on that we're seeing that can be taken into other games because, hear me out, the tank has survived a lot of team fights, but this is why I'm also working on the support side of things, right? Where the supports need to improve on how they're playing their play style because they're not, look at it this way. Let me, let me explain something here. If the Orisa plays here, right? If the Orisa plays here, and this is what we talk about both can happen. We talked about this at the beginning of the VOD and how both can happen, okay? If the Orisa plays here, and they're getting rolled, that's going to be on the supports. If the Orisa runs all the way up to here, which is what they've been doing, that is going to be on the Orisa, even if the supports aren't playing as well as they could be in that situation. Which turns into the idea that this is on kind of both sides of things, where the tank is playing too aggressive, and that's on them. The supports are playing way too passive, and that's on them. You, you see what I'm saying? So both, both things are happening, but like they're not really... They're not... I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of a way to explain this correctly. If the tank was getting... If the tank was getting, like, if the, if, if the tank was playing here, if the tank was playing right here, and they were falling over like they were, then that's going to be on the supports, right? Because you're not, you're not even, like, paying attention to your tank. But if the tank is playing up here, and then the supports are playing all the way back here, it's going to be on both of everybody because there's no synergy, and the tank is playing too aggressive. You see what I'm saying? So it's not on you for not healing the tank, but you're also not playing the way that you would want to play this optimally. Is that making sense? I hope I'm explaining that correctly. 
It's, it's one of those, it's a very unique situation because it's like two separate things that are happening that both can be approved on. Anyway, I, I hope I'm making sense with what I'm saying there. Also, your Bastion just, I don't, I don't know what to do about that there. Ooh, nice job by the soldier. You said, do I, do I, what would I do in that situation? Do I follow the tank in just over and over again if they're playing that way? Um, and obviously it's a feels bad that the tank has now decided that they're just going to do this because they're mad that they didn't get healed when they run into their spawn. But truthfully, I, I think that if your tank is going in aggressively and your team isn't winning off of it, you just go in, you play aggressive too. That, that's the adjustment I'll make. Like, if I'm playing tank, like, say I'm playing tank and I, I find that, like, my supports are playing really passive, or they play a very positional-based game. What I mean by, what I mean by, be, like, uh, what I mean by, like, positioning and all of that, etc., is I'll explain in a second here. What I mean by, like, the positioning is, like, if my supports are, like, I'm gonna be in this, this area, right, and I keep getting rolled as a tank because I keep LOS in my supports, I'm gonna make an adjustment to that, right? I'm gonna go, okay, my supports wanna play from here. They're comfortable in this part of the map. I'm gonna play in the area of line of sight of my, my supports, right? Or do I just keep running in and being like, wow, why am I not getting healed? So like my adjustment as a tank would be, I'm gonna play to the, the way that my supports are gonna play. Cause I can't create that space if I'm falling over and they're playing smart. Their positioning though, they become unkillable. Now I'm popping off and I can play aggressive when we're up at 5v2. You see what I'm saying? So your question was, is do you go and play with your aggressive tank right now? Probably. I, that's the, if I was on support, that's the adjustment I would make. Because if they're gonna keep playing aggressive and overfeed over and over again, like and just play like really far up, I'm gonna have to adjust that playstyle because we're not gonna win the team fight if we're always 4v5 in that situation. So that's the adjustment I make. Is it gonna be the best adjustment or are you gonna win? No guarantee, but that's what they, those are the adjustments I'll make mid game based on how my teammates are playing. As long as you're doing something together as a team, I like the result of that. So. Like I said, it is. It feels bad that your tank got upset and like just stopped playing, because like I, I, I really think that this is tank played way too aggressive. The supports played way too passive, but like it still wasn't really a lack of healing on your tank because your tank played too aggro to begin with. But like you still could have definitely not played as passive. So like that's why we were kind of talking about that whole bolt. Like it was kind of on bolt because it just there, there was no synergy. You just had a way too aggressive tank, and you you play too too passive. Anyway, that's what I've been seeing. Well, yeah, but see, here's the thing is like, in, in, in this specific spectator, that's what we've been talking about though, right? Like you said, like, oh, like the Moira gameplay, et cetera. That, that, that's, that's what we have been like focusing on that, on, on many areas to improve on right now, which is good, right? Like, the, like there's a bunch of stuff to improve on. I, I just think that, like, this is, like, one of those situations where, like, there was no synergy between the tank. It wasn't really on the supports for not healing. At a, at a certain point, though, like, playing more aggressive probably would have been the adjustment that would have worked for your team. In my opinion. Like, I think everybody in this game probably could, like, with this VOD, would learn from, like, with their play styles. Also, is it me or is it Doom playing again? Like they won a team fight, now they're playing again. I want you to focus towards your tank now. Keep your keep your doom alive. And now now fade out. That that that's that's nothing you can do about that. It was a good soldier all. That was a good soldier all. Nice job. No. Okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. You know what? At that point, nothing you can do about that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will just quickly uh, talk about this very quickly. Okay. So let's just talk about this very quickly because I want to summarize this because we. So it was a long VOD. You played too passive. You and your Mercy were kind of doing like the exact opposite of what you would want to do in a lot of fights. Your Mercy would pocket the tank. You would be trying to pocket your Mercy pocket in your DPS. Your Mercy, you would pocket the DPS. Your Mercy would be healing the Arissa, etc. To the, to the initial question, was this a lack of healing on your tank? No. Could you have played this much better? Absolutely yes. And I hope that like you were able to see some of those things in this VOD to improve on because you can see it right there. Tank was too aggressive. 
You were playing way too passive and you were kind of worried about too many different things. Healing orbs were random. Not enough damage orbs. Way too passive again. That's what I saw. Hopefully you can see from that one. But yeah, that, that's my that's my take on that one. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button. Um, Because liking the video is good. Uh, sub to the YouTube if you haven't. All three of them. Record all these live on stream, obviously. We've been, obviously now we're able to record uh, stream on multiple things now too. So if you've probably seen the YouTube streams also as well as obviously on Twitch. So we record these live. That's the Twitch chat you see right there. Um, thank you a ton for watching these. I hope you've enjoyed these. If you, um, want to submit your own, description below. My Discord's right there, and you can, as a spectating channel. With that being said, hope you all have an amazing day slash night.